using five electronic components. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make an interesting circuit or project. Let's start. I love to play with this MOSFET. It's very powerful. It's ERF-Z44N MOSFET that can handle, I don't know, maybe 40 amperes. But it's useful for many beginner electronic projects. And today video using this MOSFET and one electrolytic capacitor of 470 microfarads, one buzzer. Whoa one resistor 150 kilo ohms and one tuck switch I'm gonna show you how you can make a very simple timer yes a timer let's build it the circuit now three pinouts gate drain and source on drain I solder the buzzer with negative side on the buzzer. Adding a tuck switch between gate and positive side of the buzzer. Adding a 150 kilo ohm resistor between gate and source. Soldering the electrolytic capacitor with positive side go, going on the gate and negative on the source of the MOSFET. Alright. And I'm finished. Using five electronic components, I made a very simple timer. Okay, here it is the very simple circuit diagram the buzzer is connected on drain with negative side positive side of the buzzer go to the positive 12 volts with with a tuck switch we trigger the gate and charging the capacitor the electrolytic capacitor and the resistor in parallel they are connected on gate and source ground goes on source of this circuit and here it is i have built it and i'm gonna test it sorry the circuit works on 5 volts but can work on 12 volts if you use another load for example a valve but in this case i'm using a 5 volt active buzzer okay positive goes here and negative here and 5 volts and when you press the tuck switch, it should stay on for around 15 seconds. 15 seconds to discharge the capacitor. I'm gonna measure with my stopwatch. Yes, it stopped. Reset start again eighteen nineteen seconds okay so you you can play with the capacitor and the resistor if you want to increase or get lower time for example if i want this to be a timer of 30 30 seconds i should use uh, 1000 microfarads and leave the resistor as it as it is you need to to play with these two electronic components so you can get the the right time but it's simple with pressing the tuck switch we have a timer using a MOSFET and can be controlled a very high power loads for example for example motors or high power bulbs yep turning off
working like a charm. That was all in today's video. Thank you for watching. Please give a like, share and subscribe to my channel. See ya.